안녕하세요. 2021 소프트웨어 교육 피스티벌을 통해 여러분을 만나 뵙게 되어 반갑습니다. 저는 K12 CS 교육 프로그램 매니저 김명진입니다. 구글은 이번 시간을 통해 모두를 위한 CS 교육에 대하여 이야기를 나눠보려 합니다. 세계적인 AI 선두 기업으로 모두를 위한 교육이라는 미션 아래 교육 격차를 해소하고 교육 기회 확대에 기여하고자 그동안 구글은 다양한 CS 교육 프로그램과 서비스를 개발하여 보급에 힘써왔습니다. 구글은 모두가 훌륭한 학습 경험을 누릴 자격이 있다고 믿습니다. 배경이나 환경에 관계없이 교실에서나 가정에서나 모두가 동일한 학습 기회를 누리는 것이 무엇보다 중요하다고 생각합니다. 그것은 우리 모두가 자신의 잠재력을 충분히 발휘할 기회를 누릴 자격이 있기 때문입니다. 이를 위해 아이들이 자신의 속도에 맞춰 학습하고 창의적으로 문제를 해결하며 협업을 할수 있는 역량을 기를 수 있도록 구글을 노력하고 있습니다. 또한 기술을 통한 혁신으로 효과적인 교육 환경을 조성하기 위해 다양한 플랫폼을 제공하고 있습니다. 다음은 구글에서 진행하는 CS 교육 프로그램과 일본의 실제 사례 소개가 있겠습니다. All right, then from now on, I'm going to talk about our programs globally about computer science education. This is Yukai. I'm responsible for computer science education for Japan and South Korea. And I formerly worked for Japan Ministry of Education. For computer science education, which programming education was mandated from 2020. We just got the opportunity to help a new member, Myunjin, in the Seoul office to expand our programs to South Korea. And per request, let me quickly introduce a wide range of computer science education programs we run globally in my team. So, CS First. CS First is a free easy to use curriculum that introduces students, mainly aged from 9 to 14, to computer science through block-based programming language called Scratch. No coding experience is required, and it's freely available online. Let me show you a video which illustrates how CS First is used in the actual classroom. When I first knew that we were going to do coding, I was really excited. I like how you can make whatever you want. It's really easy to make stuff, and it makes you kind of proud. As educators, we want to make sure that students have access to all of the skills that they'll need to be successful today and 10 years down the road. That's why I think CS First in the Classroom is so important. It is a free introductory computer science curriculum. It's a really easy way to use computer science. You can incorporate sound, um, music, special effects. You can design your own characters. You can design your own games. It's technically like an electronic story. We know that we live in a tech and tech-enabled world, so we're helping to prepare them for that. Coding, computational thinking, problem solving, creativity, communication, collaboration. We call those 21st century learning skills. When you get into it, you'll learn how to design your own projects. I'll probably do a lot of coding, like for fun. I think the huge thing I see in here is that problem solving piece. We were always taught to ask, what do you want to be when you grow up? But rather than asking them what they want to be when they grow up, ask them what problems they want to solve. So this is CS First, a programming curriculum for aged 9 to 14. The next is called Next Program. Which is uh, Google's free program works with high schoolers to cultivate the next next generation of Black, Latinx, and Native tech leaders. It's freely available for students and provides the skills and inspiration they need for long and rewarding careers in computer science fields. Let me show you a video again about uh, called Next. I'm from Oakland and I'm in the ninth grade. Hi, my name is Naya Crump. I'm from Manhattan, New York, and I'm in 10th grade. What's up? My name is Raymond. I'm from Harlem, New York, and I'm in 10th grade. My name is Elias Cruz. I'm from Oakland, California, and I'm in 10th grade. 
If you could describe yourself in one word, what would that be? Engineer. Codenex is a place where I learn about computer science and become a coder. Codenex is a place where I interact with my coaches and gain leadership skills. Codenex is a place where my family and I learn about college and career options. Codenex is a place where I can design my future. What will you create? So this is called Next. The next program is called Grasshopper. So this is a little bit different from uh, Code Next. So Grasshopper is a coding app for beginners. It is the best way to start your coding adventure with fun and quick games on your phone that teaches you how to write real JavaScript, moving through progressively challenging levels as you develop your abilities then graduate with fundamental programming skills for your next step as a coder. You can visit this website with the QR code on this uh, slide to download the iOS and Android app and also use Grasshopper on your browser to, to learn the basics of JavaScript. The next program is Computer Science Summer Institute. So prior to 2020, CSSI, Computer Science Summer Institute, was an in-person experience taking place at Google offices and universities across the US. We pivoted to a virtual format last year and continue to offer a four-week virtual camp for graduating high school seniors with a passion for technology, especially who identify with groups that have been historically marginalized in the field. To learn more about the program, did go.co slash CSSI. So these are the programs we mainly uh, organize in North America, in Canada and USA. But from now on, let me quickly talk about what I've been doing in AI and machine learning education for elementary school students uh, in Japan. We have been running this, these programs in Japan for the last three years. This is because the public interest on AI and machine learning has been growing. And there is a local need for educators to teach basics of AI and machine learning in the classroom, along with computer science education, which was mandated from April 2020. So we have a wide range of programs. But first of all, we worked with Japan Ministry of Education to co-develop a curriculum to in introduce AI and machine learning with Scratch programming, and also offer the resources as AI programming support program to schools applied. And also, we developed online courses, MOOC, for educators who want to learn how to teach the basics of of you know, AI and computer science to students. And also, finally, we run a programming competition for K-9 students in Japan annually. Before diving into the details, let me quickly talk about the tools we use across these programs. So on these AI and machine learning programs, we use Teachable Machine, a free browser-based service from Google for anyone to develop their own machine learning models for images, sounds, and poses. And TM to Scratch, an open source TensorFlow.js based Scratch extension. So basically, how it works is that so as soon as you create the machine learning model, whether it is uh, audio or sound or post classification model, once you create these models on the website, on the browser, the first step, the models can be imported to the Scratch extension so that students can develop their own program using the machine learning model. And by making use of these tools, we co-developed the AI programming curriculum with Japan MOE, as I quickly mentioned already. It's 35 hours long curriculum for the project-based learning subject titled Solving the Real World Problems with AI and Programming mainly designed for fifth and sixth grade students. 
It covers AI technology and AI in our life, such as real use case of AI in the world, and also basics of programming and model creation. And finally, we let students create their own program using Scratch and AI to help solve the real world problems. And also from this year, we started offering this Let's Try AI Programming booklet to the schools. It's a supplementary teaching materials with step-by-step -step instructions. Additionally, we work with Horita Lab from Tohoku University to co-develop the online course for educators to help elementary school teachers teach AI and programming in the classroom. It covers like programming and also model creation part. And also it covers like how deep learning works and ethics of AI as well. And finally, starting from last year, we started organizing a programming competition for K-9 students called Kids AI Programming Competition in Japan. Last year, we chose six finalists from a huge number of applications and created a video by interviewing three of them. So please take a look. プログラミングしてるってことがすごい天才みたいなことを言ってくるけど簡単にできるし楽しかったです。学校の友達は機械学習でどんな問題を解けると思っています。私はプログラミングは積み木みたいなものだと思っています。メンブブです。リュウカです。鳥取県出身の14歳です。岐阜県の11歳です。沖縄の11歳です。お父さんと漫画ミュージアムに行っている時に流れていた音楽が私の本の雰囲気と合っていないことに気づきました。場面に合った
우선 이 시간을 통해 구글이 펼치고 있는 CS 교육 프로그램의 글로벌 사례에 대해서 소개할 수 있는 기회를 주신 소프트웨어 페스티벌 관계자분들께 감사드립니다. 앞으로 한국에서도 정부 및 다양한 교육기관 관계자분들과 CS 교육 확대를 위해 협업할 수 있기를 기대하겠습니다. 감사합니다. 감사합니다. 바이바이.